Today I'll be bringing you the Glock 17 3DG. This is from Tac Toys, as you can see. Uh, this product is a toy, just remember that. Uh, don't take it outside, uh, don't do anything silly with it. What you see here is a uh, portable box which uh, Tac Toys sell. Um, they are pretty inexpensive. Uh, they got memory foam and design on the inside. Um, to keep everything nice and snug. First of all, we'll dive into what we get inside the box. So we get the Glock 17. We get these nice piece of uh, eye protection here. We got our charger. We got our standard gel balls, our magazine, and our battery. My battery is already in the magazine, uh, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. First of all, we'll look at the, uh, the Glock 17 as it is. Um, we've got our magazine release button here. We've got our safety here, which is currently on. We've got our slide catch. So when we slide this back, it catches, press down, and it releases. On the other side, nothing really too fancy. We've got our slide release button here, which we slide all the way down, and then lift up and forward, like so put back on, just the same, but in reverse, and there you go. Another feature it has is the dual safety, so you got your safety here, and you also got your safety on the trigger. Uh, that is so, when you're pulling the trigger and safety is not on, you cannot pull the trigger without depressing that other safety. The Glock 17 Gel Blaster won't work unless it has the magazine in. What you see here is the standard magazine that comes with the Glock 17 Gel Blaster. It contains approximately 20 to 25 gel balls, which enter through this small hole here. After a few goes, it comes out nicely. To load the magazine, you pull back this spring until it locks into place just down here. You fill the gel blaster balls through here, giving it a shake as you go. Once it is topped up, press down and close the hatch. From there, keeping the uh, magazine in the locked position with the spring down here, you place inside the Glock 17 and now you are ready to fire. So the gel balls that you have in your magazine now are filling up this S-Bend and then will fire. So once you have loaded your magazine into the gel blaster, you'll be able to fire it. Ensuring it's off safe and the trigger safety is depressed, you can fire the gel blaster. Since there is no gels remaining in this magazine, the slide has remained uh, to the rear. Easily pull it forward by pressing that slide release catch. If at any point you need to get into the gearbox or into the motor, do so by applying safe, slide catch down to release the slide from the Glock 17. Remove the slide, and then from here, remove the pin at the back of the handle, and remove the grub screw. This will require a small hex to do so. The battery is held in the magazine. This initially is pretty finicky. Inside, you got your battery and your charging port. Placing the battery inside the magazine. To make it simple for you, connect the yellow tips together. They are shaped, you cannot get them wrong. Secondly, with the yellow tips together, the side that is closest to, slide in to the magazine. With the charging port, fold over and tuck under the yellow tips. The yellow tips will fold over the battery like so. Now here is the tricky part and it will take some practice. Get your magazine battery house, place over and gently but firmly Align those teeth with the housing. And 
and slide into place. This will take a bit of practice. And you won't get it first go, but persistence is key. Okay guys, that is the extent of what is inside the Glock 17 uh, 3DG uh, assembly. If you have any questions, queries, or uh, are just interested in any other content, just let me know and I'll be happy to provide.